how much do i have now in my bank account i mean how is the universe responding to my prayers the love life now something to write home about oh, have you stopped aging which country can you travel to without having to go through the bustle and hustle of rejection because you are a nigerian all these things put together i am going to answer in this video okay so let's start from the beginning hello everyone we are back again with another youtube video and if you are new here hi my name is lillian you my returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos please do it to like and share don't forget to comment by the time you understand the video this video is a life update since i became a ghanaian citizen or a citizen of ghana please before you you correct me hold on hold on. sometimes i get carried away i think i'm a Ghanaian. okay maybe it's just something i'm wishing and you know hold on let me check my card again okay i have checked my card it's not citizenship it's slip of the tongue my card is non-citizen you know sometimes out of the abundance of the heart the mouth forget and speak all right so if i have been saying i'm um, citizen of ghana please maybe it's my wish okay after all we speak it into existence right <laughs> all right like i said it's life updates more than a week ago since i became a legitimate resident in ghana since i got my resident permits i'm now legitimate if today the government of ghana wakes up and say all illegal immigrants should go yours sincerely is going nowhere because i got my papers all right that is not a joke like a week ago i took the bold step to become a legitimate resident of this beautiful country called ghana and what has happened since then till now how much do i have now in my bank account how many more years has god had added to my life i mean how is the universe responding to my prayers i mean lily is your love life now something to write home about have you stopped aging or which country can you travel to without having to go through the bustle and hustle of rejection because you are a nigerian all these things put together i am going to answer in this video important of them all which is how do i feel because peace of mind comes first before any other thing now since the day i registered for my ghana card i feel relaxed especially when it comes to the time of making payments or cashing out monies from my mobile money number i told you guys i was using a mobile money number that was created for me by someone that trusts me a lot and he took all the risk to do that but there is see this thing that will make me feel a certain way when i go to, to mobile money vendors to catch out when my transaction is approved the guy or the lady in charge won't move until i tell him or her that i have been debited for them to go back and be sure that yeah i am debited you want to know why that is that is not because i am a nigerian that is because the name on the number is not my name and it's a male name i mean chale you are a woman standing right in front of me so how did you come about this name i see that look on their faces some of these mobile money vendors that are funny they will say ah i'll report you we'll, we all make joke of it and laugh so but now things have changed when i go to a mobile money vendor to catch out hmm? i will just do pim 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 and the person will just see and just hand over the money to me i don't have to tell them i have been debited to oh, please so oh. all right point one the second one is if i'm holding you money like the other day at the gym i bought something to help me you know something i needed at the gym and i was not mobile that day okay i had my mobile money number but i was busy at the gym and i was tired so i told the vendor that I bought that stuff from that when i get home i was going to send him the money right i was going to make payment for something that i have purchased from him 
and it was cool with that by the time i got home i sent the money and i didn't have to call him to find out if he have received to tell him that that name that is there is me nipacho is me why okay is me lillian this time i just sent that money and i didn't talk and this happened on saturday and i didn't go to the gym on sunday so by the time i went to the gym on monday it was okay I didn't, he just told me oh thanks for the other day i didn't bother to call to tell him i have sent the money i didn't bother to call to ask if he received payments because i believe he will receive and he will see my name do you understand these are some of the dividends i'm enjoying now peace of mind okay another thing is still on peace of mind right is that I truly wish to travel to some of the places I was traveling to before. A place like Wa, where the security personnel is on my way, the immigration officers on the way to Wa and back. The way they treated me that time, I wouldn't say I didn't like it. They are doing their job, okay? This is applicable to all immigration services in Africa because I come from a country and I come from close to a border town and I know how the Nigerian immigration officers used to behave when they see foreigners like Cameroonians and Chadians and Nigerians when they see them they usually want proof they usually want their documents they usually want all the right things things done so when when i went to war and that happened to me i didn't take it personal but right now i wish i can go back there so that i'll just quickly fling my card i'll just do them like this see my card officer look at my card because that day i was search because i am a nigerian i am a foreigner mm? in my own continent so i was asked i mean i was taken into their you know this their house by the roadside and one of the female officers was asked to search me tolerate so that all the guns i have <laughs> all the guns i took from boko haram <laughs> all the bombing stuff from boko haram they will discover it and take it out i'm joking about this part okay they are doing their job my Ghanaian friend that i traveled with was not happy she was very upset with them she was screaming leave her alone eh, this is how you people you search her because she's a nigerian so i was telling her babe pacho calm down they are doing their job i'm not angry so now i wish to go back there mm? see i wish to travel on that war road again so that i'll see these immigration officers and even if they didn't stop me eh I would tell the driver of the vehicle to stop so that I'll go and greet them and show them my ID card even if they didn't ask for it. So these are the issues. Another thing is the more serious one now is that I can just decide to walk into any bank now and open a bank account. I mean, I have been wanting to do that, especially like transferring my salary to Ghana so that I can physically have hold of my salary all this bank transfer and the rest before the money gets to ghana from nigeria it has become chicken change like my dollars have been destroyed completely it has become the same like someone that is earning in the local currencies cannot wait to go me just feeling like i can actually walk into this bank and get this done has given me a sense of freedom a sense of belonging and i don't feel pressured like before now i do not feel pressured like before to travel to nigeria quick 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 i must go to nigeria because i don't want to overstay i have to travel now so that they can stamp my passport oh yada 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 is no longer there because now if i want i can take time to return to before i can go to nigeria if i like i can decide to be here until nigeria is great again i can decide to be here until the next elections then i will go to nigeria and cast my vote and if i like i can decide to be here forever till you know whatever i can decide to be here for a very long time until i'm due to become a ghanaian citizen and get hold of this my ghana passport that i am desperately waiting for do you understand i can't wait why won't i be in a hurry to get it tayo you know how to use 150,000 us dollars to acquire a passport from a country somewhere in the caribbean so if i get my own ghana passport for free 
what are you talking about mm? it simply means that i can start traveling freely without anyone disturbing me no be so all right another thing that has really um changed in my head since i got my ghana card is the fact that trust me before now i never thought of owning a health insurance card for myself my two kids actually have it my little girl and my first baby they have they are health insurance in ghana but i've never thought of getting it for myself because i have always been feeling guilty i feel like why should i take so much from a country that I have not contributed a dime to I have not even got my right paper my right my ghana non-citizen card like the right thing that i'm supposed to do i have not done it so why do i think it's all right to go take more from them i have not really been interested in the health insurance stuff because i felt like I don't deserve it so but now i feel like once i have time i should go get this done do you understand i will go get it done because in ghana here one thing you don't know if you're not in ghana is health insurance works in ghana not for some selected set of people it works for everybody that has it once you have it when you go to the hospital the first thing they will ask is do you have your health insurance if you say yes they will go through your they will ask for the card and then they will just give you massive discount You're supposed to pay 35 ghana cities for something at a hospital or clinic in ghana you are going to pay five ghana cities can you beat that that is how many percent is that how many hundred percent less is that there are so many benefits have if you are under the health insurance scheme in ghana you stand to benefit so much when you go to the hospital you concentrate on your sickness not that you'll be thinking of how much i'm going to pay how much they are going to be me you know your head will be everywhere once you have the health insurance you, you will calm down and focus on your sickness and be sick in peace and get well and go so i have now started to feel like i want to do it because i'm no longer feeling guilty now i feel like i'm qualified for it and i'm no longer a thief i won't be feeling like i stole it you know i don't have the right to get it so these are the benefits another thing is right now i can if I have any opportunity to travel to any country, I don't necessarily have to run back to Nigeria to go to the embassies. Because now with my Ghana card, I can go to any of the embassies here, though with my Nigerian passport. Because now I'm legal here, so I can actually save myself the stress and the cost of going to the embassies in my country and just do it here in Ghana with my non-citizen card and my nigerian ECOWAS passport see can you beat that all right there was a time i talked about some immigration officers that usually come around my area okay please nobody should drag them they are doing their job and even if you drag them they will listen they will still come so before now i remember they came here on two occasion and the first time they wanted in they, they wanted to come into my apartment okay they want to see what i got here even though it's not their duty to come inside my apartment but because i am a lover of peace i opened my door for them they came in when they saw my kids because this was when my kids were on holiday when they saw my kids after they have seen my passport the one of the officers now said, okay um why don't you go for your ghana card instead since you are living here okay he advised me to go for my ghana card the second time they came back uh, this time they didn't enter my apartment they stood outside my apartment i gave one of the officers my um i gave one of the officers my passport i took the passport to her outside in front of my apartment and gave it to her and she went through it and gave me back and was telling me my sister go for your ghana card so even if they come back here even if they don't come to my apartment to knock i will look for them and pursue them like this and show them my ghana card ha i am a busy body repeat <laughs> yes i am a busy body thank you very much yes is it easy 
all right so these are the these are the issues nobody sleeps now nobody sleeps now so i heard that for me to be qualified to become a citizen of ghana in the next five years and above i have got to speak at least one of the languages so please which one are we doing are we doing ga fancy or are we doing tree or or ewe or should we do wala wala in wa which one should we learn so you guys comment down below the other languages i've not mentioned please nepacho my people it's not because i'm silencing you it's because i have no idea like i can't remember because there are lots of them so let me know which of the language to learn and where you think i can go learn and learn fast already in my country i have been rejected you people know right uh, the star should not go again so please i want to go to nigeria as a tourist eh the next time i go to nigeria i want to go to nigeria as a tourist not as a nigerian again okay so please which of the languages should we learn for me to be qualified for my ghana card and i promise to be at my best behavior all right so these are just the fun things that have really changed about me owning a ghana card about me becoming a legitimate residents in ghana is to encourage you to if you are not uh, registered in ghana if you have not gotten your ghana card please go for it okay it's not for anybody it's for you there's something it does to your mental health there's something the ghana card does to your peace of mind it takes away the guilt of you feeling like you are you are cheating people you are you are here illegally you are this you are that you understand it takes away the guilt 120 us dollars is not little but it's something that you can achieve in ghana here we spend a lot of money spend way more than that like sometimes if you want to take your friends out and give them good treats in accra say you want to spoil them for real you can spend even more than that at one go as i mean at one sitting so you can put that money together. just get your ghana card done okay so that you can feel free when you come to ghana you walk into the bank the fun stuff that have changed since i became a citizen of ghana since i became sorry a resident in ghana and for those that are mocking me saying eh, your mates are applying for the uk us canadian blood yada, yada 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 you are proud of ghana card ghana citizen why should you eh, no problem it is my choice hey it's not like if i have access to those ones you have mentioned i will not go for it i will but in the absence of that i'm not doing this because i am um, i'm not i'm not asking to become a citizen of ghana because i wish to do it in place of what i don't have the other ones no it has nothing to do with that this citizenship if it comes i will embrace it with all my heart even if i don't use it for any other place just to live here and live and feel like my fellow Ghanaians, i'll be okay so it's not for the passport for me it's not for the ghana passport actually alone yeah that would be a welcome idea so i can really explore some of the countries that are visa free for Ghanaians. yeah but it's not my primary aim of wanting to be a citizen of ghana it's actually so that i can vote because i am a lover of politics see the fact that i don't discuss politics here is because i don't want to hurt anybody because i belong to everybody but i belong to no to no one I do not want to hurt anybody i do not want any feelings to be hurt i believe if i'm able to vote in ghana i believe if i'm a ghanaian proper i will be registered to pick a political party here and you know by then i've learned the language anybody that want to quarrel we will quarrel he will fight and you know we'll just do politics all right all right thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in another one bye